Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello everyone, it's Simone here. I wanted to share with you some of the crafty goodies that I got yesterday when I was shopping. And I shopped in the Art and Hobby Shop and the range here where I live in Ireland. And I wanted to share with you some of the things I picked up. I was also in what we call Pennies here. It's Primark in the UK. But in their, um, what would you call it? like their cosmetic section and everything. Um, they do these see-through plastic units. So this is one of them. Let me see, I have it upside down. This one has a big drawer and these are two smaller drawers and it's a good size. You can fit an A4 into this one. This is the bigger one. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I need to zoom out a little bit. Let's see. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom out. Okay, don't mind the state of my craft room. <laughs> so these are about an A4 size. And these were 12 euros here in Ireland. And I have two of these set on my windowsill. And I keep my cards, my ready-made card blanks in them. I also got, there's a big unit that can sit on top of this and it's a staggered um, nail varnish holder. And I find that it holds my, um, I have the Nouveau drops. They don't fit in it, but there are a couple of little spaces that you can put the bigger ones. But most of the nail varnish holders are this size. So the Do Crafts and what else? craft sensations any of those smaller bottles will fit perfectly in the nail varnish nail varnish holder part so if i remove my camera and show you here on my windowsill i have got three of the drawers actually four because this is a two drawer set and another two drawer set and then that's what holds the nail varnish but I have my smaller little bottles of, you know, the, the drops that you can get. Stickles fit in there as well. And then the bigger slots, I keep my Nouveaux in. And I also picked this up for cleaning my desk. You know, when you've done embossing and you get a bit of powder on there. This was in the makeup section as well. And I thought this is really cool. It was like five euros or something. So I thought that'd be grand and it sits just up there. They also do this little one. And I have some of my blocks in here and bits and pieces. But yeah, Primark are pennies as we call it here in Ireland. They do some great ones. And as I said, this is the two drawers. And then you have the bigger one here. And then the smaller ones. Yeah, so I'm chuffed with that. So I also got in my local deals or Poundland um, this. These are for putting your paper in. And I put mine, I put this on my shelf and I put my different cardstock in here. I find them great. So on my shelf, I have a load of different ones of these. But these, I got two of these in the Poundland, as they're called in America, or deals here in Ireland. So brilliant, very pleased with those. I have the um, Gemini and the Gemini Go and I needed some replacement plates. So I got a regular plate for my Gemini and I also got um, for my Gemini Go, I got the magnetic shims. I do also need some of the clear plates but I have to order those online. They didn't have any in the art and hobby shop that I was in. This is pretty cracked. So what I'll do is I keep mine, I use mask and tape. So I have my um, magnetic shim, my metal shim, my plastic shim, and then my plate. So I will get new ones and I will use this now as my um, die plate and swap them out. Yeah, so they last a long time. They're great plates for use, but once they go, they go. So yeah, so those I got. I also picked up some really cool and cute. I have a little unicorn in my stash, but it's like as if it's rearing up. So I thought this would be lovely because who doesn't use or like to have little unicorns on their cards? 
I also got this happy birthday. It's like a joined writing happy birthday and this star banner. I thought that was cool. And they weren't very expensive. I think they were like 380 euros. 3 euros and 80 cent. Uh, the Gemini. I love the Gemini dies. I have a set of, I think there's four in it. And this one is just gorgeous. So you get the shadow piece. You get the actual happy birthday die and then you can put the two of them together or use them individually. And this is a really nice size happy birthday. I mean, let's see if I grab a ruler. So it's about four and a half inches. Yeah, and probably a good two and a half inches wide. So it's a nice size die for, you know, to put on a card you know as a main focal point really lovely i'm delighted with that and the nautical collection anchors away i love this with the ring and the two different size anchors is great absolutely fab these will make great topper or even you could die cut this out and put it on you know um if you're making a gift bag or a gift box as well as your cards i just like there was two different sizes very pleased with this. Very pleased with that. So there are the little dies that I picked up. What else did I get? I also picked up, just to share with you, these in the Art and Hobby. These are a very slim. Can you see there? There's literally no depth to these little dots at all. These are black and they've got a kind of a sparkle on them. And I thought I would just, I got one pack. All they had was the black. They were out of stock in other colours. But I just thought I'll get this one pack and see what they're like because I can order more from the art and hobby shop.ie online. So yeah, chuffed with them. Give them a go. What else did I got? Now, this is the secret garden. And the papers in this are just beautiful. I love them. And pretty reasonable price as well. I also got to pick up the sentiment toppers, the little welly boots. They're a wooden topper and another wooden topper of the little birds. And a part, a portion of the money that is spent on these products all go to in aid of mind. So it's a minimum. They're going to give a minimum of £10,000 and that's sterling to mind for better mental health. And I think in this day and age, we're all so aware of mental health. I think it's brilliant that some of the money is going to that. But these are a beautiful collection. I'm so delighted with them. Yeah, loving it. Next, I got grand plans. These, I need to have some more masculine papers. Now these can be used for him or her them they those but you know I just thought I need something more along the lines of this and there's some lovely papers in here I'll give a quick flick through and there's three of each type absolutely lovely my favorite one is coming up that's lovely isn't it oh that'd be lovely if you were doing a scene really like that a lot lovely clouds then these these are all double-sided but these seem to be single-sided so there's the rock star this would be lovely for my niece julianne she's a rock star she's a burgeoning singer and um, she has a fab band called Rumi. but this would be really good for her and the guitars fab music my husband's big into music these be handy for him. The little takeaway mugs. More music. Remember those old stereos, guys. I was born in the 70s. I remember my friends with them. <laughs> Jerseys. What else? It's like hot sauce or stuff. And then... And those I think this came from further back anyway so that's that pack I think that's lovely it's eight by eight premium paper pad to 20.32 centimeters by 20.32 centimeters it's 48 sheets three sheets of 16 designs 
200 GSM cardstock acid free 8x8 paper pad. And they're first edition, can't go wrong with first edition. Lovely. Also, I'll just move these out of the way. I got this. This is gorgeous. I saw Sam from Mixed Up Craft and she was showing this pad and I thought it's just fantastic. I'll order it from Craft Stash online. But I've seen this in the art and hobby shop and they had all the different types. Natural Museum, they do the kaleidoscope. They have, I think it's four or five different types. And this one I saw Sam showing on her channel and I thought, oh, if I can get a hold of that, I'd love it. The papers in this are fantastic. I'm going to quickly flick through. There's a lot of um, butterflies and bugs and insects and birds and all that kind of thing in it and jewels and sea you know anything fishes and but absolute like they're so different so unusual these would be just fantastic for gift boxes or gift bags and here it's got the smaller ones so i mean if you knew someone was into things like this you could just cut this out put it on your card blank take your happy birthday die stick it on top and you have a card i mean pfft, what more do you want isn't that just beautiful sam thank you so much for showing me this because when i saw it in the shop i was like oh my god and it wasn't i mean it's 18 euros but i thought this would be 25 to 30 euro range isn't that gorgeous as well beautiful papers i'm gonna quick 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 flick through Gorgeous, absolutely stunning range. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to be down again <laughs> to where I bought these. I get, I do my shopping in the art and hobby and the range in Limerick City here in Ireland. And um, yeah, so while I was down visiting family, I popped in there and got some bits and pieces, but absolutely stunning, absolutely. I mean, I hate using that word stunning because it's so liberally thrown out there nowadays, but absolutely beautiful paper pack. I would totally recommend it. Because I was looking at getting more masculine type papers, I picked this up. It's the Paper Addicts Game On 12 by 12 paper pad. I love the 12 by 12 paper packs because you can, um, you can literally you know, cut out stuff to make toppers. Oh, I didn't open this, guys. Let me do that. So here we go. I've opened it up. And look at that. If you're into basketball, fabulous. And then you have your checkers or, you know, your flag for sports, baseballs, your stripes and your bikes. There's your flags for the winner's line. And then that lovely plus and minus paper. You've got your goal posts for your soccer and you have your soccer little players. You've got your golf and your golf paper. Lovely stars. And this, guys, big archery fan. I haven't played it now in about eight months. We used to, my husband and I used to go to a great club in Ennis in County Clare, an archery club, and we've moved up to Mayo. And so we're going to have to join a club up here. But yeah, this is my favourite. Tennis, hobby is watching Wimbledon at the moment. Big tickets. These you could fussy cut out and have them as toppers on a card. Oh, there's our swimmers or synchronized swimmers. <laughs> Lovely geometric on there. There's your cricket. My husband this year has got big into cricket, loves it. Then there's goal and your trophies. Then a mix of the different balls, your tennis, your base, your basketball, golf ball, soccer ball, rugby. Big rugby fans um, for the Munster team. And then another great sentiment page. Yeah, and that's it. So, Paper Addicts Game On 12 by 12 paper pad, 24 double sided sheets, 200 GSM. Fab. Love it. 
so tropical bliss. This is fabulous. A lot of the card makers at the moment are using a lot of products with the tropical, um, you know, imagery on it. And when I saw this, I thought this would be great. Oh, I forgot to open this one. Let me just grab my blade and do that. So this one again, 12 by 12 paper pad. It's Paper Addicts again, 24 double sided papers, 200 GSM. So I will quickly flick through these. Oh, lovely look at the parrots beautiful flowers it's not something i use a lot of i'm not kind of into the jungle type and um, papers but i really liked this pad it's gorgeous flowers in it this has got like a pearlescence sheen on it Two cans. That's nice as well. Parrots and two cans. Lovely. Really like this. It's different, something I don't have in my stash, so very happy with that tropical bliss. The next paper pad I got, which is a monster. Look at how thick that is. This is the first edition paper is Gardenia. And I love my mom. It used to be a big gardener she's kind of slowed down in that area now but i just love this and i have some dyes and different um things in my stash look at the sheen can you see the opalescent sheen in that beautiful flowers my mom could name all these out i'm not as good as her yet but lovely flowers in this so i'm going to start from the back because it's easier isn't that gorgeous the colors on it guys and then the gingham on the other side this one with your butterflies and dragonflies i love dragonflies guys they're so beautiful to me when you see a dragonfly just flash pie if you look at it through the corner of your eye it's like seeing a fairy and i you know as a kid i always thought dragonflies were fairies the image we saw as kids Anyway, there's some lovely oak leaves, all different types of leaves and seeds and berries. I don't know them all, but if I called my husband in, he'd be able to point them all out. I know that's a fern and I know that's an oak. Well, there's the seed from it, but my husband, we used to call these ones helicopter seeds. I think it's from the ash. I'm not too sure. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful. A gorgeous plaid. Look at those colours. My daughter Alicia would love this. She loves anything purple. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's like lavender. Butterflies. Oh, look. Bird houses. We walk in bleak woods with our dogs, Buster and Ghost. And in the trees they have loads of bird houses it's so lovely and they have a fairy walk which is all done with like fairy houses on the trees and everything it's really cool wellington boots on the back side then we have this one with our ladybirds and this one with other insects and snails that's a lovely striped paper and butterflies oh my god i love butterflies this is gorgeous I'm squeaking polka dots and fir trees that's gorgeous for doing a scene love it then we have some more dragonflies and garden equipment look at the old wheelbarrow isn't that so cool very cool and then we're into the single-sided papers so these papers will have something on them this is just so lovely to touch. It's like it's embossed with the different words. Time to celebrate, grow, love blooms, let your dreams blossom. Thanks a bunch. Beautiful with dragonflies and birdhouses and everything. Gorgeous. Three pages of that. Oh, isn't that beautiful, guys? It's lovely. Watering cans. <laughs> I love that so I love anything garden absolutely love it these are beautiful I think these are poppies are they poppies 
they look like poppies and daisies this is lovely it's like a snowdrop i think oh and bluebells beautiful beautiful and then we have the busy bees and this guys it feels it's got that texture like wallpaper lovely and thick really you know, it's kind of you know with your ordinary papers they're just shiny you know that kind of real slick kind of feeling where with these it's like wallpaper absolutely beautiful i love bees and we really should be doing more to protect our bees absolutely this is a lovely wood grain gorgeous greens lovely and this is an opalescent can you see it there beautiful with butterflies i mean you could fussy cut these out i could even use my scan and cut to cut these out i'm getting the hang of my scan and cut guys it's been hard work but i'm getting there beautiful and then this one with all our different plants from the garden absolutely lovely i really love this paper pack i kind of took my time with this one but totally worth it love it now this last paper pack and i'm getting near the end is this happy you 12 by 12 paper pad again sam um had this she's part of the trim craft group i think but she showed this and i think she had the dies and the toppers and she had the whole kit and caboodle but i picked this up in the range yesterday because i see so many of the makes using these papers and they're gorgeous there's four dies in this pack the smile the geometric heart be happy be bright be you and then you know this with the three hearts i mean when you cut this out of paper you'll get your little banner but you'll also get the three hearts lovely love this and then these are the papers they are so gorgeous can you see all what's going on in these you've got foiling glitter glitter more foiling absolutely gorgeous i'm going to start at the bottom this gives you an overview of your different papers and let's see so these are all single-sided folks so there's no oh my god i love both sides <laughs> This is lovely, little triangles, three of each, be bright, be you, be happy. And this, you are loved, I love that, you are loved. I think we don't tell enough people, I mean we throw out the, oh I love you, I love you all, but do you know, to, to tell someone who you care about that you love them, we don't do it enough guys make it happen choose happy smile dream big lovely these could be cut out as toppers gorgeous this is great as a background piece it's like smatters or spatters even lovely marble look isn't that so soft very lush and more of our geometrics and look at that fabulous foiling this is gorgeous i can imagine a gift bag or something made with that isn't it lovely guys our stripes with the glitter And then our swirls this kind of looks like um, wood grain or kind of looks like what you'd see on the top of a pond but really lovely really really lovely and that's it that's the last one of that so that's those two the dove craft and last but not least i got this paper pack um it's always great to have some white cardstock i have some 300 gsm i have 260 gsm 200 gsm i was out of i have i think it's 120 or 140 gsm as well this is just your bog standard white shiny kind of paper it's not for doing any kind of um you know water coloring or anything like that but just for die cutting out you know your layers this was pretty reasonable price 
and again I got this in the range so that's everything guys let me try and see if I can get everything out on the table I think that's pretty much everything that I got on my little shopping trip yesterday. So i just like to thank you if you've watched this. It's running at about 13 minutes long. Um, I'm going to put some links to everything I can on um, the description down below. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up or a like and um, hit the subscription button so that when I post another video, you'll get notified. So. For now, until later, thanks for watching. Bye bye.